We've got a great big mobile sonogram unit here with a real nurse, something they don't have inside of that place where you are right now. A real nurse will get you a sonogram. Anything that you need, we have. At the three abortion mills in this city of Charlotte, we've had 176 moms that have changed their mind. They get on this great big mobile sonogram unit. We get them sonograms, whatever they need. We get them church families that will take them in. And a lot of people now are coming into North Carolina from a lot of other states like Georgia, Alabama, uh, where the abortions are harder to get. And we've sort of become uh, this, this great place for abortions to happen and take place. Save right at this abortion mill right here on the throat drive. So we're there to give them hope and to give them Jesus. Lots of bills are being passed. I know even in our state, North Carolina, we have some new regulations. We, we went from a 20 week to a 12 week starting at the beginning of July. Um, but from where I'm coming from, my understanding is babies deserve equal protection. So I would believe in the abolition of abortion, not just the regulation of it. Young lady, there's a great God in heaven who loves you. Don't give up on yourself. Listen, what you did was terrible, but God is the answer that you're longing for. Don't give up on him. 10 years ago, people were receptive, and even more so now, people are receptive. But there also is a massive number of people who will ignore everything we say and hate us just for being out here. Abortion will not come to an end in the city of Charlotte until the Church of Jesus Christ makes up her mind it will come to an end and not one second sooner. That much I know. This is our responsibility. We're not supposed to be writing letters to our congressmen and saying, you go love these kids. God says, you get up and come out and become the church here and I myself will bring this to an end. And he can and he will. And abortion is going to come to an end.